In this problem, we have a complex number raised to a seventh power. Remember, when you write your i, you don't want your i to look like a 1. So if your i normally looks like this, I strongly recommend that you add a foot to it so it doesn't look like a 1. All right, raised to the seventh power. One way to do this, and give your answer in rectangular form. One way to do this is multiply it out seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to take a very long time. It's a lot of foiling and then foiling and then foiling. So that would take too long. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to convert to polar. And I'm going to use the r e to the i theta form, which is Euler's form. Then we're going to raise it to the seventh power, and then we're going to convert it back to rectangular form. So then take seventh power, then convert back to rectangular. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. 3 plus i, so that means you go over 3, go up i, which is 1, or 1i. One All right, there we go. Now, first of all, this angle is not going to be an angle that we're familiar with unfortunately. So that's going to be a little annoying. <clears throat> that's okay. Magnitude. So the r radius is the magnitude. So it's square root. I'll write it as square root a squared plus b squared. So it's 3 squared plus. Do not put i in here because if you put, you want the coefficient of i, which is 1. If you put i in there and square it, you're going to have a negative and then that, uh, that should be your indication that's not correct. All right, 3 squared is 9, 1 squared is 1, so it's square root 10. So r is square root 10. Theta, however, we can't directly find theta, but remember we have tangent theta is b over a or y over x. So our y is 1, our x is 3. And that's as good as it gets. Uh, for finding tangent theta, or finding theta, I can write it as theta equals tan inverse of one third. Okay, we, uh, you will need a calculator to answer this one nicely. Uh, so if you can convert this using a calculator, uh, just remember you're in radians or degrees and either one is fine because uh, you're going to convert back at the end. So we're just going to use tangent inverse one third here. So we have three plus i to the seventh is in Euler's form r e to the i theta. And I'll scroll up so you can see that it's r e to the i theta. And we have r, we have theta. We're just going to put in that form square root ten e to the i tan inverse one third raised to the seventh power. Now how do powers work? r e to the i theta raised to the n power is r to the n e to the i theta times n and you can write that as e to the i n theta like that. That's an n times theta not an n minus theta. Let me write that a little more clear. There we go. It still looks like an n minus theta, but it's n times theta. Okay, so I'm going to apply that seventh power now. So we have square root 10 to the seventh power, e to the i, 7, tangent inverse, 1 third. I recommend you turn this into a uh, number, either in radians or degrees, it doesn't matter square root 10 to the seventh, you can write it as 10 uh, to the one half, that's square root to the seventh. All right, we're going to write this in the cosine i sine form. 
you can multiply those two powers. So we have 10 to the 7 halves. Just said one thing and wrote something else. 10 to the 7 halves power like that. All right, we have cosine of theta, which I'm putting in a box. plus i sine, now I'm totally running out of room. I apologize for that. Sine of seven, seven tan inverse one third. Okay, I think I needed a third close parenthesis, yeah. Okay, we're almost done. This, there, there are some, you don't use the double angle formula because it's seven times an angle, but you could, if you look at the uh, trig conversions, uh, converting angles, you could maybe find one that's complicated that would work here, but I'd recommend on this one use a calculator. Uh, if you're on the final exam, I will not give you uh, an angle that you can't compute. It would be something like turn into, I think if I use a square root three on the original problem, we would have been just fine. But unfortunately, that's not what we started with. All right, I'm distributing this to each of these. So you have cosine seven, tan inverse, which is our tan when you plug it in, plus I, 10 to the seven halves, sine of seven, tan inverse one third. Okay, there we go. This will all turn into numbers, so I'm not gonna show you the, the actual answer I covered up, because it's gonna be in decimal form, uh, but you should be able to put this, these, what I'm underlining into a calculator carefully and get values out for those. And it doesn't matter if you're in radian degree mode, because the tan inverse will give you radians or degrees, and then if you're in the same mode, the cosine will use that mode. So you should be okay either way.